and turn 16. We've gotten two new colonies and from the other ruins we've gotten <laughs> level 4 and 5 cannons and another level of artillery mounts. Well, is there some uh, bias to these ruin techs that you get these specific technologies? Well, I guess we are blessed with level 5 mass drivers now. I guess we should upgrade our designs then. Build a few of the only warships, of the only defense ships. And some more scouts. Really have to remember these are scouts, these are defense ships. Well. Let's go upgrade our ships and put something into the queues in our new colonies. You are going to want, well, whatever you want, you're gonna wanna start with a light shipyard most likely. Actually, you're only tiny, and you only, quote unquote, have 10 facilities of space. So maybe we should just start with, uh, well, what do we want on here? I'm thinking research labs. We have uh, colonies with better resource values, and we are going to want research labs. Let's just clear these. How long are 10 research labs going to take? Actually, 20 turns. Um, it's going to be a little less once we have some mi more migration fall into this place, but we now have several colonies along which the migration from our homeworld has to be distributed. So this place didn't get any migration. This place got two turns worth, it looks like. Mm, yeah, right, but it's new. Uh, yeah, you also look like you're going to be a research colony. If we had special mining uh, complexes, we might put them on there. Mm, actually, you have two, sen uh, two suns as well, so maybe more radioactives. Actually, did we finish the one radioactive facility on the one asteroid field in the homeworld? In the homeworld system? No, it hasn't quite finished yet, but it will soon. Oh yeah, I think the construction rate isn't much higher for our one light shipyard because uh, 250 per resource isn't much higher than what the default rate would be. <laughs> so we actually need a second light shipyard to really uh, start stacking up the build speed. And man, with the speed, just 30 turns for a heavy shipyard. It's so long. I guess it makes uh, colonies where you can actually construct ships at a decent speed very valuable. Which is another change uh, from balance mod or vanilla ish that I like. It makes these uh, more of an investment more important as opposed to BM like uh, planets where you can just slap a shipyard and anything and build ships and units uh, about the same efficiency everywhere. So what do we put on here? You have 40 facility space, so whatever we want to do, we want to start with the live shipyard. And that's going to take a while, so let's just call your construction yard for the time being. Just like you. Actually, you're probably going to be a mining colony, because you're the one who has 200 some percent in all of these. I'm probably gonna put you uh, chock full with metropolises. Oh, they, they produce 200, uh, 300 instead of 250 resource per turn with level 2. It's also a reasonably big improvement. So this is the one uh, large warship that can fly around. Oh yeah, look at that. Interconnected to what these two are, so it doesn't really matter where we go. There is asteroid belts in here. Uh -huh, a small and a large. This one with decent resource values, except for organics again. Is this? No. This one covers this asteroid belt, but isn't actually uh, damaging in any way. Interestingly, there's another small star with that has this uh, nebula around it. Do these have anything interesting to say about them? No. Well, where do you wanna go? You're actually running out of supply. Well, you only make 60 per turn and you require... Wait, aren't you supposed to... Yeah, they're only supposed to reduce 60 supplier turn, but I guess the cloak actually uh, makes them not recreate any supply. I guess that's maybe a hard-coded ability, that supply generation abilities don't work if you're cloaked. 
Of course, now this ship has flown away from my home world for all this time. By being cloaked. Mm. And now the further it gets away, the more chance it actually has of finding an enemy. So there's only these two war points from this little loop and the appendage uh, that we have to go to. So let's move you over here. And after you are there, we can maybe decloak you, recloak you, we'll see. Actually we won't because you will use 60 supply every time. Yeah, we should also uncloak you and the other ones for the time being. Why is the sound effects? Not sure how loud they're gonna be in the recording. But most sounds uh, I turned off in Space Empires. Like, remember these UI clicks you get every time you uh, remove and add something in these uh, the ship design? <laughs> that just gets annoying after a while. So, Pimphigus are the recon ships, the ones with solar sails. Uh, let's set one of you over here in this direction. They also have cloak, but their supply generation comes from a solar sail. So let's see how you react if you get cloaked. Because I'm pretty sure on in vanilla on cloaked ships, uh, solar sails, uh, not solar sails, but solar panels will still generate supplies, but quantum reactors won't. But quantum reactors have a specific description that says they don't. And you're again going towards this one. There you go. Uh, yeah, might as well cloak you as well. Just for the heck of it. You're going there, and you're also going there. I guess this is the shorter way. Maybe we should have sent the invasion fleet the other way. If we want to send you here, you're coming from there. If we want to send you here, you're obviously going there as well. I guess they are turning around then. Their supplies are still at max, which is where they should be. So they don't need to turn back to the home world and pick up an extra few hundred supplies or so. Um, let's send you warping through there. And then we can decide if we want to send them up here or down there. Maybe we'll know a little more, maybe we'll counter him behind this war point or this war point. The thing is we don't actually have any sensor range on our scout, so we would actually need to run right in her into him. Perhaps into a war point defense. No well. Unwell. Uh, these we are going to need to put to use somewhere. Defending well. These two war points are natural choke points. If we can defend these two and have all these systems for ourselves, I think we're going to be in a very favorable position. Because uh, real estate is reasonably limited on a small map like this, even with just two players. If we can defend this whole little ring with these extra two colonies in addition, then we're gonna have to have a reasonably defensible base. Uh, let's have these remain here for now and wait until their carrier ship is done which we're also going to send up this way then I guess oh this is still going to take two turns oh well wait this actually moves at, th at three speeds so let's move them ahead a little bit they can move at least a few tiles on their own can they? Uh, 45, 90 per turn, yeah they can move uh, we can move up until there even. Two, three, four. Okay, then we still have this cruiser that doesn't have a job yet. Uh, we are also going to send you this away. Uh, two, three, let's send you to this war point for now. And sentry for the moment. Without sensors, it's going to be important to have sentries on the war points. Anything else? Nope, this is still going, the construction queues are still going. And that would be it.